Hello, this is Gali Kofab and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about gallstones and how dietary changes and supplements can help. Gallstones are hard deposits of bile components formed in the gallbladder or the bile ducts. The gallbladder is a small a small pear-shaped organ that lies below the liver in the upper right abdomen. It stores bile, a liquid which is made in the liver and it's moved then passed on to the gallbladder for release to help break down of fats into fatty acids when their digestion is needed. The gallbladder also sends bile to the small intestine, a process that allows our bloodstream to easily absorb fat-soluble vitamins. Gallstones are typically formed when there is an excess of cholesterol in the in the bile relative to that of bile salts and phospholipids, causing the acids in it to crystallize, eventually forming gallstones. Gallstones are the most common gastrointestinal disorder in the Western world and are present in 10 to 20 percent of the general population. Gallstone blockages can cause mild to very severe pain and lead to numerous complications including gallbladder inflammation, cholecystitis, uh, and bile duct inf infection. Gallstones are also linked to increased risk for certain types of cancer and heart disease. Other symptoms you might experience include, na include nausea, fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and a dark urine. Obesity is also a risk factor for gallstones. Doctors typically treat mild and infrequent gallbladder pain with anti-inflammatory or pain medication. But if the symptoms are more severe and frequent, then surgery for the removal of the gallbladder is often recommended. The best way to handle gallstones is to prevent them through a healthy diet. But if you already suffer from gallstones, some dietary modifications will help. Here's how dietary changes can help. Poor eating habits and consuming foods rich in fats and sugars contribute to gallstones and gallbladder disease. A di diet that is rich in cholesterol, saturated fats, trans fats, and refined sugar is best avoided if you suffer from gallstones or wish to prevent them from forming. Also, fried foods are best avoided as it is more difficult to break down such excess fats. Fried food consumption may also cause gallbladder pain. Knowing which foods to choose and which to avoid can help the gallbladder stay healthy, especially for people who have already experienced gallstones and gallbladder issues. Increasing the nutrient-dense foods in your diet, such as vegetables and fruits, can tremendously improve gallbladder function and prevent further complications. Additionally, plant-based proteins like and mono and polyunsaturated fats can protect against gallstone formation as well as caffeine. A gallbladder diet goal is to reduce the stress that certain foods impose on the gallbladder, either by easing digestion or by supporting the health of the gallbladder. A high fiber diet eases digestion as it reduces the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream. Sources of fiber include nuts, and seeds, whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and legumes of all types. Omega-3 fatty acids protect the ball gallbladder. They actually help gallstone dissolution. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in seeds, nuts, and cold water fish. Also, moderate caffeine consumption can protect the function of the gallbladder. The best caffeine sources include green tea, which also has potent antioxidant activity through EGCG, a green tea flavonoid, as well as dark chocolate and freshly ground coffee. Consuming a vegetarian diet is also associated with decreased risk for developing gallstones and from suffering from gallbladder disease. Consumption of fat from meat and fried foods increases the risk of cholesterol gallstones. Also, identifying and avoiding the consumption of allergenic foods helps prevent gallstone formation. So if you're allergic to a certain type of food, you may, uh, as a result, form gallstones. The, uh, so you definitely want to avoid uh, any allergenic foods for you. Supplements can also be of help in the prevention of future gallstones and in the breakdown of gallstones as well. 
Supplements that help prevent gallstone formation and support a healthy gallbladder include number one, vitamin C, a water-soluble vitamin well known for neutralizing free radicals and decreasing oxidative stress, which is a contributing factor in gallstone formation. Vitamin C is also a cofactor for the enzyme 7-alpha hydroxylase, a rate-limiting enzyme in the conversion of cholesterol to bile acids. The next supplement is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid supplements from fish or plant-based sources can prevent gallstones by improving bile composition and preventing crystallization. The third supplement is S-adenosylmethionine, uh, SAM-E, uh, also known as SAM-E, has protective effects on the liver and improves bile flow, especially in people with certain liver diseases. The next supplement is curcumin. It's a turmeric extract which can reduce the likelihood of gallstone formation by improving cholesterol and lipid metabolism. It also reduces gallbladder inflammation and normalizes bile acid metabolism. The next supplement is iron. Iron deficiency plays a role in the pathogenesis of gallstone formation in, P in humans. An iron deficient diet shows a higher incidence of cholesterol crystals in bile. Other supplement suggestions include vitamin E, melatonin, and milk thistle. Also lowered alcohol consumption, preferably no alcohol consumption, decreases the risk of developing gallstones. All in all, by following a healthy diet with a lot of nutrient, antioxidant, and fiber-rich foods, you are likely to have a healthy gallbladder and very low risk of symptomatic gall for gallstone formation. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button for notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better level. Thank you very much for joining.